My name is Rachel Sprague. I'm the co-director of conservation for Pulama Lanai, the major landowner on the island of Lanai. Our program works on conservation of natural resources there, everything from endangered species monitoring to non-native species control to biosecurity. So the island of Lanai has had a long history of environmental degradation through uh, ranching, farming, um, and a lot of invasive species introductions. But what still remains is some really special native species, um, in particular the Hawaiian petrel or ua'u, uh, and several species of tree snails that are endemic to that island and not even found on any of the other Hawaiian islands. Hawaiian petrels, or ua'u is their Hawaiian name, they are only found in Hawaii. They're uh, an endangered species, and they only nest on a couple of the main Hawaiian islands. So they're a species where Hawaii is their only home, and Lanai is one of their largest populations in the world at this point. Even though the island, again, has has lost a lot of its native habitat, it hasn't had a lot of impacts that some other islands have in terms of really widespread human development, um, power lines being put out by the coast, that kind of thing. So for us, the island has this small native forest remaining, and what we found is that everywhere there is native habitat remaining, there are pretty much Hawaiian petrels trying to nest in it. And they live in burrows underground. And because they evolved with no mammals, they are extremely vulnerable to getting eaten by cats, rats, mongoose, dogs. Rats will kill, yeah, rats will take the eggs and rats will kill chicks. Cats will kill chicks and kill adults. We've been using a variety of types of monitoring to try to understand where they're nesting on the island and then where we find dense concentrations of them, uh, we come in, we monitor the adults, and we monitor the nests to try to understand uh, their success. How well are they doing? Do they, are they raising chicks that are successfully fledging? Right. Um, but then we're also paired with that activity of us being in the colony, we're doing control of and removing cats and rats from the landscape. So we started straight into using Good Nature A24s um, in a grid pattern. And so we knew that the burrows that we had identified were just a really small proportion of the population. So instead of just putting traps next to the burrows we knew about, we used a grid format across the landscape covering the ridges and the gulches to try to reduce rodent activity over the entire um, core of the petrol area. When the parents leave the chick alone for the first time, when the chick is about two to three weeks old, that's one of the most vulnerable points because the adult at least, they'll still lose eggs to rats, but they'll fight. Like adults will peck a lot and they can drive a rat off sometimes, not a persistent rat. Right. Um, but the chicks, when they're left alone for the first time, they're a little tiny fluff ball and that's the most vulnerable time for them to get killed by rats. So we're really making sure that there's been good rat control um, up until that point. And then the chicks are alone and they don't fledge until about November. So we are on rat control just for the petrels for almost the entire year. So there's uh, two species of terrestrial snails that are federally listed as endangered. Each of them are found in two to three locations in the world. And when I say they're found in a location, it means there might be three individuals in that location that are known. Each of the species are probably less than a couple hundred individuals. Um, and one of their biggest predators is rats. So we do the large scale landscape control for rats really helps them. And as we've been putting out some of those A24s, we've actually found new populations of one of these species that is really exciting. In addition to A24s, we do build smaller enclosures of predator-proof fences to keep Jackson's chameleons, Euglandina rosea, a rosy wolf snail, it's a predatory snail, and rats out of extremely small areas. Um, and those have been very successful, but they only protect a, like less than a tenth of an acre type of a size. Hawaii's 
has a lot of native species. Some of them are really charismatic, like Hawaiian petrels. Some are native snails that are even more endangered and are so tiny that you can hardly even see them, but they all need our help and they all need help with a landscape level. And so new and innovative tools that can help us control predators or help us restore habitat so these guys aren't just hanging on, but can actually come back and have a full functioning ecosystem is something that um, is really exciting to see us starting to move towards. Keeping your cat indoors is a really big deal and making sure that you're not leaving out food or other things that rats or mongoose can use um, to reproduce and you know, make these things in towns where there's lots and lots of them to be a pool.